Kembali lagi menyaksikan Profit bersama saya Anika Wijaya dalam segmen Tech A Look. And we are going to continue our discussion with 8x8's communication platform as a service business, Stephen Hamill. So Stephen, you've talked about digital transformation and also innovation. But what is the advantage for an Indonesian company? For an Indonesian company? So I think people talk about digital transformation and most of the time what they really mean is doing what they were doing before, but in a digital way. And in, it, really that's just kind of upgrading in many ways. When I think about digital transformation, what it means for me is being able to do things you could never do before, things that were never possible. So technology allows you to do something unique. And that's why we see these organisations coming out of nowhere, doing something very different and disrupting the entire market. And we've been talking about this kind of thing for years. And using technology differently, I'll, I'll talk about, we work with a, a ride-sharing company. Uh, you know, we all know ride-sharing, I think we're all using it. I don't know about you, but I'm, I think it's my biggest bill at the moment, um, ride-sharing. We, we use them all the time. There was a point in time where if you wanted to speak to your driver, you had to click a button and it would connect you and you'd see their phone number, they'd see yours. And that's not good for people's privacy. Uh, you know, you, you could keep that number forever and suddenly that's not a good place to be. So we were able to apply some really interesting usage of a CPaaS platform. It's providing what we call core masking, such that you can click uh, uh, the link inside the, the application, speak to your driver, they can talk to you and you don't see each other's number anymore. Those numbers are masked. And then at the end of that call, when your ride is finished, your connection with the next driver becomes part of that same button. This is using technology very differently, not just applying technology to solve an old problem. It's creating new ways of using technology. All right. And could you uh, provide um, how data security and communication pr privacy become a major concern nowadays? And how does 8x8 ensure that its SIPA solution meets the required security standards? Yeah, look, so we, we can't talk enough about how important security is, how important privacy is. I mean, the fundamental, this is a fundamental human right to be able to have access to your data in a private and a secure way. And so we address this a, a lot and help organisations to address these same, these same challenges. So we're, we have a, a technology, as I mentioned, called um, OmniShield, which is, we, bring, we brought out into the market with selected customers. What that allows us to do, there's sort of two sides to fraud at the moment in the space, that, in the CPAS space. One is where people are, their, their uh, ID is being grabbed. Someone's trying to get in and pretend that they're them. So we authenticate that through various different ways to make sure that you are who you say you are, that you can't log into my bank account and shift my money out, or you can't use a service that's aimed at, at me that I'm paying for, and you can use that. So it's aimed at protecting and authorising that person. The second thing is the company themselves. There's what's called artificially inflated traffic. This is the organisations that are sending out lots of traffic. There are unscrupulous actors that are pumping huge amounts of traffic through their networks, causing them to spend huge amounts of money that's unnecessary. In fact, we've got some customers um, that were saving up to 30% of their spend, which is actually artificially inflated traffic and scam. It's a scam and it's not helping them at all. So we're very focused on making sure we protect both our customers and their customers, the consumers. Lastly, what message and response do you have for Indonesian companies looking to leverage CPAS to enhance their communication and business growth? I think the, the fundamental thing has to be privacy and security. Number one, right? you have to protect yourself and protect your customers. That goes without saying. I think the second thing is, is to build in your communication channels as part of your roadmap and vision because they're changing all the time. You know, who knows what the next channel of communication is going to be? Who knows what the next super app is going to be? And how you as a business might need to integrate with that super app or that social channel or, or whatever comes next. Having that agility, having that forefront in your mind, and then having a plan in your, in your, your digital transformation journey that says, how do we capitalise on our communication strategy across all of these channels, whether it's video, whether it's social media, whether it's voice channels, or whether it's good old-fashioned SMS and uh, media, multimedia messaging. All right, we have we still have several months to the end to 2023. And what is your biggest strategy, maybe uh, to push yourself? For us, our biggest strategy is um, two things: we're market growth. I mean, we're growing quite uh, extensively across various different markets. Uh, this is our business challenge. But in, in terms of our customers, it's more a case of providing additional technology, additional capabilities and cutting edge technologies and capabilities, allowing people different ways to engage with their customers and embrace those. So we'll continue to add streams of technologies to what we do. We'll continue to grow our market and we might even have a couple of acquisitions that are in front of us that we're looking at as well. 
And how do you feel about next year, which is a political year in Indonesia? Look, um, next year for, for us is, um, is obviously we intend to, Indonesia will continue to be a, a growth market for us. It has been for the last seven years and it will continue to be. We sh we'll just continue to provide an excellent service as best we can. We'll continue to, to um, evangelise what's important in digital transformation and CPAS. We'll continue to try and advise the, co the companies that are looking to make a difference for their citizens and for their customers. And uh, it, we'll expand where we are uh, in, this, in this region. It's an important, it's a jewel in our crown. And we're very pleased to be here. Stephen Hamill, thank you for being with us. My pleasure.